16 Thus did Moses, according to all that the Lord commanded him, so did he. 17 And it came to pass in the first month in the second year, on the first day of the month, that the tabernacle was reared up. 18 And Moses reared up the tabernacle, and fastened his sockets, and set up the boards thereof, and put in the bars thereof, and reared up his pillars. 19 And he spread abroad the tent over the tabernacle, and put the covering of the tent above upon it, as the Lord commanded a Moses. 20 And he took and put the testimony into the ark, and set the staves on the ark, and put the mercy seat above upon the ark. 21 And he brought the ark into the tabernacle, and set up the veil of the covering, and covered the ark of the testimony, as the Lord commanded a Moses. 22 And he put the table in the tent of the congregation, upon the side of the tabernacle northward, without the veil. 23 And he set the bread in order upon it before the Lord, as the Lord had commanded Moses. 24 And he put the candlestick in the tent of the congregation, over against the table, on the side of the tabernacle southward. 25 And he lighted the lamps before the Lord, as the Lord commanded a Moses. 26 And he put the golden altar in the tent of the congregation before the veil. 27 And he burnt sweet incense thereon, as the Lord commanded a Moses. 28 And he set up the hanging at the door of the tabernacle. 29 And he put the altar of burnt offering by the door of the tabernacle of the tent of the congregation, and offered upon it the burnt offering and the meat offering, as the Lord commanded a Moses. 30 And he set the lava between the tent of the congregation and the altar, and put water there, to wash with all. 31 And Moses and Aaron and his sons washed their hands and their feet thereat. 32 When they went into the tent of the congregation, and when they came near unto the altar, they washed, as the Lord commanded a Moses. 33 And he reared up the court round about the tabernacle and the altar, and set up the hanging of the court gate. So Moses finished the work, when the tabernacle and the furniture of it were prepared, they did not put off the rearing of it till they came to Canaan, though they now hoped to be the very shortly, but, in obedience to the will of God, they set it up in the midst of their camp, while they were in the wilderness. Those that are unsettled in the world must not think that this will excuse them in their continued religion as if it were enough to begin to serve God when they begin to be settled in the world. No, a tabernacle for God is a very needful and profitable companion even in a wilderness, especially considering that our carcasses may fall in that wilderness, and we may be fixed in another world before we come to fix in this. The rearing of the tabernacle was a good day's work, the consecrating of it, and of the priests was attended to some days after. Here we have an account only of that new, year's, day's work. 1. Moses not only did all that God directed him to do, but in the order that God appointed, for God will be sought in the due order. 2. To each particular there is added an express reference to the divine appointment, which Moses governed himself by as carefully and conscientiously as the workman did, and therefore, as before, so here it is repeated, as the Lord commanded a Moses, seven times in less than fourteen verses. Moses himself, as great a man as he was, would not pretend to vary from the institution, neither to add to it nor diminish from it, in the least punctilio. Those that command others must remember that their master also is in heaven, and they must do as they are commanded. 3. That which was to be veiled be veiled, verse 21 and that which was to be used he used immediately, for the instruction of the priests, that by seeing him do the several offices they might learn to do them the more dexterously. Though Moses was not properly a priest, yet he is numbered among the priests, Psalms 99. 6. And the Jewish writers call him the priest of the priests, what he did he did by special warrant and direction from God, rather as a prophet, or law, giver. Then as a priest, he set the wheels a-going, and then left the work in the hands of the appointed ministry. 1. When he had placed the table, he set the show, 
spread in order upon it, verse 23, for God will never have his table unfurnished. 2. As soon as he had fixed the candlestick, he lighted the lamps before the Lord, verse 25, even that dark dispensation would not admit of unlighted candles. 3. The golden altar being put in its place, immediately he burnt sweet incense thereon, verse 27 for God's altar must be a smoking altar. 4. The altar of the burnt, offering was no sooner set up in the court of the tabernacle than he had a burnt, offering, and a meat, offering, ready to offer upon it. Verse 29. Some think, though this is mentioned here, it was not done till some time after, but it seems to me that he immediately began the ceremony of its consecration though it was not completed for seven days. 5. At the lava likewise, when he had fixed that, Moses himself washed his hands and feet. Thus, in all these instances, he not only showed the priests how to do their duty, but has taught us that God's gifts are intended for use, and not barely for show. Though the altars, and table, and candlestick, were fresh and new, he did not say it was a pity to sully them. No. He handled them immediately. Talents were given to be occupied, not to be buried. Talents were given to